Hi. My name is Gabriel, welcome everyone. Welcome in a project that I wasn't actually anticipating. Uh, but it might be uh, something good. <laughs> Uh, well, Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Arm. First of all, I have to say quite clearly, because I played this game so many times and uh, I know so much about it, uh, there is a big spoiler alert here for this episode and for all other episodes, because this game is old, uh, 15 years I think now, and because of that, well, Baldur's Gate and I, we have a history. There is, there was not a year among these 15 years, I think, that I was not somehow coming back to this game. Baldur's Gate is uh, Bioware's uh, introduction of Bioware formula. I haven't uh, had the time to actually go deeper into this, but this game is considered to be uh, the pinnacle, the, the pinnacle of Bioware's greatness. Those of you who watched some others of my uh, of my LPs or listened to my videos, my uh, audio blogs, things like that, you might know that I am a big Bioware fan. Not to mention that I don't actually like the term fan. I would rather say Bioware enthusiast. Uh, from Baldur's Gate One, I uh, I I was playing their games, uh, and I'm also playing uh, the Mass Effect series now. Uh, which unfortunately, because of some other problems, is not able to. I'm not able to finish this project, uh, so it's on hold. Uh, but let's not go there, because if I go there, I'll end up with a rage. Uh, now we are coming back to this. Baldur's Gate is uh, considered by many to be the best RPG series of all time. Uh, this was a game with such uh, that introduced some points that every other RPG, especially fantasy RPG, needs. Uh, and I'm not saying only about story or things like the characters, the motivations that are behind the characters, personalities that, that intertwine, conflicts that uh, are there. No. Bioware created a type of immersion uh, that just pulls you in the game. Uh, when you, of course, go through uh, one specific thing, which is getting used to a d and as a set of rules. When you get... Uh, when, when you, if you know ADN rules, uh, and if you... Uh, if they become for you as transparent as, let's say, glass when you're looking out of the window, you know that they are there, but you're so familiar with them that you only see what's behind. And what's behind is a beautiful world full of interesting quests, uh, full of treachery uh, and and this enormous great feeling that you have playing Baldur's Gate. Among uh, Infinity Engine games, uh, I consider Baldur's Gate 2 to be... Uh, I consider out of the two, Baldur's Gate and Baldur's Gate 2, I consider Baldur's Gate 1 to be slightly better than Baldur's Gate 2. Uh, it's not something that everyone is aware of and I always like to point it out. Baldur's Gate 1, the first saga, which unfortunately I can't play for you because my capturing program is not able to do it. Uh, I, I had to to do it. I had to go back to Fraps, and I don't actually want that. Never mind. I've, I, I consider I consider Baldur's Gate 1 to be more of a to be better in Baldur's Gate 2, uh, in that sense that it was a hell of a risk. Uh, it introduced the new way of presenting RPG games of making RPG games, and it uh, created the way for Baldur's Gate 2, for Planescape Torment, for Icewind Dale, uh, and for all other games, especially Bioware games, uh, that are one of our favorites. If you ever played Star Wars of the Old Republic, Jade Empire, on Xbox or on the PC, if you played Mass Effect, the whole series, the whole trilogy, if you played uh, Neverwinter Nights, uh, a lot of other RPGs, I would even dare to say that if you played Witcher, The Witcher 2, those games were not possible if it was not for the Baldur's Gate success. And that is why I consider Baldur's Gate the first saga, the first game, uh, and Baldur's Gate as a saga, uh, to, be the, to be something that changed the RPGs in general. Now, let's not uh, 
dwell on that a little bit. Uh, I will tell you how I want to play this game. As you can see, we have here uh, Baldur's Gate Shadows of Anne and Throne of Ball. This is a version from GOG.com that I bought last weekend with a big sale of the uh, of advanced Dungeons and Dragons games. Uh, and this one is my first copy of purely English uh, version, so th it will be some sort of a novelty for me, because I played this game in Polish language version, which I consider that the localization uh, was tremendously good. We play Shadows of Arm, of course. Uh, first, then uh, Throne of Baal, if everything uh, will work. Now, this game is long, uh, and more or less it's... Uh, I hope to make it a little bit uh, uh, more entertaining uh, with a few things. First of all, uh, I was considering to go with the widescreen mod, but when I installed it and then uh, looked it up, I said to myself, oh no, uh, the game was so sharp on my uh, on my monitor that it was almost impossible to look at, look at for more than, let's say, 15-20 minutes. Uh, so we go with vanilla version with a little bit of a supported, uh, unsupported resolution. Uh, so the videos will be HD. Uh, I might, we might change to uh, widescreen, but I don't think so, because this is the vanilla ve version of the game. I play a little bit of modifications uh, from time to time uh, to make this game a little bit more entertaining. But well, you know, some modifications are good, some are bad. So let's start this. Shadows of Arm. Why is alone do? Cool. Fuck. Books. Books are an important uh, element of these games because they you give you the feeling. Youth in the library fortress of Candlekeep. Yeah, you even lived in the library. The kind tutelage of your foster father Gorion. Imoen shared this home, a kindred spirit. She's an important person. Her background was as mysterious as your own. Gorion's murder brought answers to your questions. When his was killer he killed like that? I'm not sure. To be In the first game, I think brother. it was much more of a slice. You and Saravak were a product push. of the time of troubles, a chaotic period when gods were made flesh and forced to walk the earth. One such deity foresaw mm -hmm. his own death and walked That guy the was a murderer, the wasn't he? He left a score of mortal offspring intended to be the fuel for his rebirth. The god was Baal. Lord of murder, of course. and you are one of his children. Saravak sought a war of sacrifice to prove his worth, believing he could become the new Lord of Murder. You killed your brother, sending his taint back to Baal. You were the hero of Baldur's Yes, I can but some believe you shared that that amount of R Saravan. of swords, daggers and arrows are needed to kill him in the first Under game. circumstances much darker than anyone would have believed. They came as you rested, figures cloaked in mist that clouded your thoughts, blurring the lines between consciousness and dreaming. Oh, come on. There was no malice. We could take them. No mention of an old score. Only quick capture and the promise of grim deeds to come. Oh yes, they are grim. Oof. I don't like the look of those tools and the look of this guy. Yep, he's nasty. He's nasty looking. <laughs> uh, and now we go. Now, now, now the interesting part. You thought we'll be beginning the game, wouldn't ya? Didn't ya? Uh, actually, not so. Uh, first of all, let's go through the options a little bit. Sounds is okay. I will deal with this during the editing. Graphics are fine as well. Gameplay. We play on a normal difficulty, 
on this board here. Uh, I was considering going higher, but uh, I already learned as an LPR that going with higher with difficulty prolongs the game itself. So we'll still we'll go with this. Group in provision, we don't need that. Rest until healed. I don't think we need that too. Let's do multiplayer to this game, uh, which was kind of a uh, good and bad uh, at the same time. If you want to play the whole uh, party with with the whole party created by you, you have to go with the multiplayer and assign all of your all of created characters uh, to yourself. But we go with single player. Unlike uh, some people, uh, I can show you that I have some loaded games. Uh, I have a group of save files for this game prepared and always. Uh, backed up on my flash drive, things like that, uh, on my uh, email account as well. Uh, we could go with new game, but actually we won't. Why? First of all, I have to tell you a little bit how I want to play this game. Uh, I want to play it uh, with uh, with a smaller party uh, to make it a little bit more different than other people. I usually saw LPs of Baldur's Gate series with. Uh, a six part six uh, group party the 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 the, the, ma the max party uh, and I want to go with four I want to go with and here starts the spoiler uh, with Jahira I think Kogan and Edwin so a fighter a fighter druid and a mage the best mage in the game uh, and my character who will be a little bit of a mix but will go with that when I'll create the character. Uh, why like that? Because I hope that will give me a little bit of a uh, little bit of a different feeling. I haven't played uh, this game with uh, Kogan and Jahira in the same party, I think. I played with Kogan and Edwin at the same party. Uh, but you know, Kogan is one of the most powerful uh, warriors in this game. Edwin is the best mage. Uh, Jahira, because I want to, I want uh, to romance her. There are four romance options in this game. There is Jahira, a neutral option for male char character. Iri, a good option for male character. Viconia or Viconia, one of the best uh, romance ever written in my opinion in games. Uh, she's evil. She's a drow, and she's of course an evil. Uh, romance. There's all, and there is only one uh, romance option for a female protagonist. Uh, that's Anuman. And I want with Jah. I, I played this game so many times that I know all of them. Uh, and yeah, more or less, Jahira is uh, a very interesting person. I, I I always liked her out of the three. No, sorry. I I love Viconia, so I can't say that that I love Jahira in a sense. But her. Uh, her romance, Jahira's romance, is a little bit of a, a twist and turn thing, you know. Uh, it has some turmoil in it. It has some uh, personal feel, uh, slightly different than the other two. Uh, and because she's a neutral character, her way of dealing with with other people, dealing with the uh, with the trouble that the romance brings with uh, with it, uh, is kind of an interesting feel. Uh, we go with tutorial. Someone might ask why. Uh, well, the question... the, the uh, that is quite... Um, when you think about it, it's quite uh, obvious. Oh, crap. This again. No. Cool. Why tutorial? Sorry, th there was a little... Mm, in my headphones... Uh, in my headset, uh, the sound started to... buzz a little bit. Uh, why the tutorial? Because in tutorial there's a little bit of uh, experience to gain. Uh, you'll see how I will deal with that, don't worry. And now the most important thing, we have to create our protagonist. Gender. We go with a male, because as I said before, it's uh, oblig I have to go with a male if we want to win uh, Jahira's heart in this playthrough. Uh, this is Edwin. We we'll play with him. I already, I think, I already put his uh, him in, in here. Um, we won't go with this guy. No way. We play with uh, one of the older sets. Uh, I want this guy. 
uh, this guy is come. This portrait is uh, is from the first game. This guy was a ranger on a vengeance quest, but we'll play as a elf because elves are nice and they have a, one particular thing uh, that we need. Coming to the class, there is a barbarian, an elf barbarian. Interesting. Sorceress, thieves, mage, cleric. We go with multi-class. We go fighter, mage, thief. Why? Because in the set that I already mentioned, Jahira, Kogan, and Edwin, we don't have a thief. This game lacks thieves, generally. When in the first game you had thieves and thieves and thieves uh, on left and on right. Here, in uh, here, I need a protagonist who's a thief and who can level up as a thief. Uh, why? Uh, because. Uh, there's only two thieves in this game who can, uh, uh, two characters who can join you, and they are thieves. Jan Janssen and Yoshimo. Yoshimo, from other reasons, is not able to help us. Uh, he's not able to stay with you through the whole game. Uh, and uh, Jan Janssen is not a character I really like. So we go Mage, Fighter Mage, Thief. Alignment. This one's a little uh, tricky. Because um, I would love to go with lawful neutral, but if you have a thief, you're not able to play lawful because that means that your character is not going to steal uh, or allow stealing. I don't want to go with good characters because playing a good character in this game is a little bit of a twist. Uh, chaotic neutral, these guys are, as you can see in the description, a little bit of a wild group. Chaotic Evil are people who don't live that long because they basically kill anyone they see and they, they are not able to be part of any organization, they just, you know, uh, if they have a blade they will cut everyone around. But a neutral evil character, that's a good one. Uh, well, good in a sense, uh, in a sense of quality. Uh, these people are uh, centered on their own goals. Mm. They are able to use pe other people as tools, uh, and well, you know, neutral evil characters are those. Oh yeah, here it is. Every man for himself, and that is what we're trying to do. Abilities. Now this is a tricky one. These these six: strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma. Some of you probably already know. These are the most important part of the game. Uh, these are uh, three uh, physical attributes, two mental attributes, and charisma, which represents more or less your way of treating, of influencing other people in a more subtle way, you know, your personal uh, magnetism. Shepard in Mass Effect will have 25 of charisma. <laughs> Uh, and now the thing is, these are throws. You have to roll these, uh, and we have to re-roll. This takes around, depending on your luck, it can take five to six minutes. It can take ten minutes, and it can take half an hour to get these right. Some people uh, do it this way: they go down with everything as much as they can and then pump up those. Uh, this is more or less how I, wa how I want strength and dexterity and constitution to look like. 18, 19, 17, because uh, elves have plus one dexterity, minus one to constitution. Uh, but since uh, I need also a very high intelligence, uh, this is unacceptable. Basically, uh, I say what's unacceptable is to get anything lower than 10. And that is why if I roll something like this, 6 and 9, I just re-roll all, all the same. So, uh, for a moment I will speed up this in the editing, of course. Uh, I will try to get good rolls, uh, but it, this can take a little time. So, thank you for uh, this part, and in a moment we'll see uh, how this will work.
Now, it didn't take much, two minutes or, or less, I think. Now this is something cool. Just look at this. Ten wisdom goes ten. We have oh, unfortunately, just slash zero four. But look at this. Just look at this. We have two points more, and we go with this, and I think into charisma. Store these points. Let's store these points, uh, and give me a second. I'll try to reroll a little bit, but I think we'll end up with those. Okay, I don't think there's any need for that. Go with those. Unfortunately, I was hoping for a little bit of a bigger strength because the strength is uh, the slash here, the, the, uh, the slash here, and with zero four is the lowest uh, of, of this possibility here. Um, I would like something like seventy so or eighty something, but uh, we'll have to go with this. Uh, we have high strength. A very high dexterity, 19, uh, 17, 18, 19, yes, 19 dexterity is the best we can do. Constitution 17, uh, we might uh, boost up this a little bit. Intelligence, the best we, we can get. Charisma, yeah, basically very good roles, I, I have to say. Uh, now, why these are so important? These are so important because here, it doesn't look like much, but each point here, uh, is very difficult to to be ch to, to change during the actual game. There's only one machine that can boost up uh, those plus one. Uh, in the first game, there were books and volumes uh, that were able to boost up those as well. Uh, one of those points, I'll have to at some point of the game, I'll have to um, sacrifice as well. Uh, I think we'll go with charisma there, but. Yeah, you know, this is basically how it is. And you can see quite easily that this... All of them I can change. I, I'm not running any cheats behind or things like that. And I think this is uh, a very good set of, ro uh, of roles. So we go done. We go skills. And now we have to choose what kind of weapon we're, we'll be fighting with. Uh, I, cons I think we'll go with two-handed style. Because uh, this is... A if you're fighting with two-handed style... Uh, with two weapons, you can deal quite a lot of good damage. Uh, which also means, unlike um, most of the... I, I was thinking about long swords, but everyone plays with long swords. And I have a very specific weapon in mind. Uh, so we go with Warhammers. Uh, I can't go higher than two uh, in weapons. Because dual classing... Uh, Sorry, dual uh, multi-class characters can't go only with two. We don't actually have, as you can see, any kind of. Uh, I don't have points to our long-range weapons, but this character's power will be actually not only will be uh, more or less his power will be uh, his fighting style, uh, not just uh, him doing things. Uh, and now we go with skills. Skills are typical, and they are. Well, they are set uh, for thieves. Uh, I don't go with pickpockets because this is bullshit. Not no, there's no real reason to pickpocket people here. Why? Because people here, people in this game, they don't actually have a lot of good things uh, in pockets. There are no actual quests that I remember that require you to to uh, pickpocket. Finding traps that's important. Uh, let's go 75 here. Move silently, hide in shadows. Yeah, that would be good. Later on, when we'll have invisibility stuff like that. I don't think that that would that, uh, that uh, move silently and hide in the shadows would be actually important. Setting traps. Hmm. Oh, I don't think so. Opening locks. That's the important one because we don't, as I said before, we don't have a thief who can do that. And now we go with the spells. Hooray! Familiar, that would be nice. What kind of familiar I will get with my allegiance? Let's see. Lawful good, no neutral good, lawful neutral, lawful evil. Imp. Mm. Magic resistance can't cast polymorphy self spell. Alright. Magic missile, that's one of the most important. 
damage dealing spell. Protection from evil might be useful. Most of these are oh, chromatic orb. Uh, and identification, yeah, that one's that one's very important. And sleep. Let's say it. we won't actually use that much. This one that much, I think. Friends, friends. Friends is able to boost up my charisma by six points. Might be useful. Uh, level two. Uh, Melf's Essex Arrow Mirror Image. That's quite obviously the one we need. Uh, horror. Mm, I think so. Blur. My blur. 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 <coughs> blur might be a good idea. Uh, detect. Detect. Uh, these are totally n not important. Uh, vocalize. That's a good one because if someone will try to silence you and you have this one on, they are not able to do it. Uh, let's go with horror. Uh, against some enemies, this will be a good one. Resist fear. We'll have that one with Jahira, I'm quite sure. Number five, level three, uh, haste. That's a very important one. Remove magic, as well as uh, where is yeah, as the spell magic. These two are important. This one removes positive spells from everyone, and this one removes only from your enemies. Now, uh, lightning bolt is a good one. Not many. There are some. A lot of enemies are not. They have no protection against lightning. Flame arrow. No, we have to go with fireball. Fireball's good. Ah, unfortunately, only three. And now appearance. This is how our character looks like. Uh, oh, we can do a lot with his hair. Not that it's that big of a change. White hair. Now, uh, gold. Nope. Well, I'm uh, my hair is darker, so let's go in the game with uh, this kind of hair. Let's make him a little bit now. Now he looks like he's sick or something. Uh, darker, dark elf, sort of. A, maybe a little bit. No. Yeah, ooh. Yeah, purple. Uh, that's too mermaid-looking. Actually, this one looks looks the best. This was very woodish. Maybe this bronze one. Okay, let's go with this one. You can change those later on if you know how, and where. Now, considering he has some sort of a hood one on him, let's see. Uh, the main one will be a dark green, or maybe even oh, oh no, let's go with this green and whew, browns like this very alfy yeah ah yes female yeah! what the hell was that ah! uh, another one no one is more worthy Let's no 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 it's quick and painful painful i'll get the job Say. done whether um, i've work to do this sitting around is useless is it if i don't get some healing to battle! I shall endeavor to be an inspiring example. Yeah, th this one's very dwarfy. To battle, and I will strive to That's lead. That's also dwarfy. To battle, I will strive to lead responsibly. I must rest for our cause. Okay. I should make better use of time. One, one, I can already tell you that once uh, I played this game, I made my own. Uh, I, I recorded uh, my own voice set uh, for this, and it was bloody, bloody stupid on my part. And after a, an hour or so, I had to change that one because it's impossible to listen your, to your voice uh, coming from the speakers. Assistance with my moods. Yes. What is my task? Well, this one sounds quite okay. And now the most difficult part: we have to name this guy. Uh, when it comes to my policy to names of my characters, I don't play characters that I name. Uh, well, I, I name them, but I don't name them myself. I don't play as a Gabriel or something like that. No, uh, I want him to be his name to reflect his elven background uh, because I think his mother was the one that named him. So uh, let's go to my female part and let's think. Enough thinking. 
Ravis, no. Elias, no. Maybe with W, no. Q? Oh, Q is good. Kylem. Kylem. Kaylin. 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 Sounds good. Kaylin. And now we go accept. Loading area. Oh. Greetings to you. I hope you've enjoyed your stay yeah. at the Ducal Palace. Ducal Palace. This is the fine one of the final. Uh, uh, one of the final areas of the main uh, game. The the first one. Uh, this is the ruling palace for four for four uh, main important persons in the Baldur's Gate city in Forgotten Realms. Uh, screw you. Yeah. Now what we are not what we do. Uh, I'll beat this uh, tutorial because uh, this is basically marching and fighting. They, they tell you where things are. Uh, nothing important for you. Uh, and in a second we'll go uh, with the traditional game. The stair cursor. No. Rise spells. If you press this, the sub Yes? What is my task? And here we are. Hmm? Ending this uh, little bit of an endeavor uh, here, and as you can see there is like, for example, 1400 experience to gain. So I think it is worth uh, of uh, playing the, what do you require? the tutorial. Now, uh, this guy Belt, he wants this thing, plus we can identify... Oh, maybe he can identify some things for us, like this leather armor, I can put it on myself, but then I lose the spells. There are some yes. restrictions right, wait, uh, when you play a multi-class character. What is my task? Uh, Jahira, by the way, she's part of on the team here. Minx as well, let's finish Good this. Good job, your training is now complete. I'm ready to start my adventure! Hooray! And here we go. Unlike the first game, this oh. one starts with something powerful. <laughs> ah, with the torture. Child of it is time for more experiments. The pain will only be passing. You should survive. Really? This guy just loves to deal pain to you me, doesn't he? Power. Oh crap. Do you even realize your potential? Yes, I do. More intruders have entered. They act sooner than we had anticipated. Ah, I am... No matter, they will okay. only prove a slight delay. Sorry for uh, one thing. I set the frame rate higher from 30 to 60. Oh, this guy. Are you. Oh, no, no, you're not able to help us. But she is. Wake up, you. Wake up. Come on. We have to get out of here. And this is the start of our adventure, our big adventure. Imoen comes in and helps us. First of all, uh, I have to say that I set the uh, frame rate to 60, uh, which on YouTube won't have that big of an impact because YouTube videos are 25 or 24. Uh, it doesn't matter, but for me, uh, to, pl to make the game more um, playable. Uh, the higher frame rate also means uh, that there is a faster dialogue sequence uh, in the cutscenes which you just uh, encountered. Uh, from the next uh, one, we'll pro from the next recording I'll probably lower this a little bit so it will look much better. At the moment we have our little friend here, Imoen. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is the first dungeon. We already start in a dungeon. Uh, this game, unlike the previous one. We start with our main antagonist already, we know him already. Uh, and this dungeon is kind of a little bit of a bother, so we'll try to go straight through it. Uh, let's say I know her, because um, depending on how you want to play it, uh, the options in the dialogues, uh, they can tell you that they can uh, reflect the fact that uh, because of the experiments you're losing your memory a little bit, so it's a little bit of a uh, help for newcomers, for new players. 
He messed with your head. He messed with your head too. Hmm. All I know is we were near Baldur's Gate and got jumped. I don't think I won't. Uh, I want to remember it all. He's been doing things to us. Quelin, we have to get out of here. I can quite uh, sympathize with that. Yes, we have to. Uh, could you give me the long version of our history? It's like we just met. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I know her. I know her very well. What do you mean by doing things? Uh, come on, Kaylin. Can't make. Uh, don't make me think of it. He did the same to you, I think. I heard you screaming like it. Anyway, I want to know who's behind this. I owe them a debt of pain. Yes, I do. Later, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I could get loose again if he comes back. My head hurts so bad. It isn't like a normal pain. It's on the inside, like my bones made a little uh, dagger and it won't go away. Like my bones made a little dagger. Okay. Don't look at me like that. It just hurts, alright. Right? Must have been the noise. There was a fight. Assassins came after our captor, I think. Which means we have a diversion. Uh, which will probably help us. Uh, there are people dead all over and the fighting is still going on, I could hear it. Are you going to get moving or do you leave, uh, or do I leave without you? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh, you can tell her to go away, but this is not a good idea. <laughs> you, you seem awful quick to abandon me. Uh, no, we're playing a neutral uh, evil character, so we will deal ourselves with this anyway. Uh, yeah, don't take kindly to your orders. I'm not going to step on your tail. You've been the responsible one forever and I don't plan on making changes here. We should look in uh, that room in the west uh, west, uh, and just a bit north. I think I saw some weapons in there. It's a room um, of the corner. I don't think it's our gear. You probably s they probably sold our best stuff, but anything is better than nothing. Let's get on. Yes. What do you require? Consider yeah. it done. The game saves, and as you can see, we have two other people here. Jahira, the one person in my party that I want. Yeah, I, oh crap! I totally forgot about Imowen when I was creating the, the, the group. Oh crap. Well, it's not a problem for now. There's also Minx, Minsk here, uh, fan favorite, this guy. But let's go first here, let's open this, let's see. Oh, what's this? It's a portal, it requires a key of some sort, okay. Uh, now, one more thing, uh, unlike other of my LPs, I think you see the bar here, saying that now uh, open gl 3530 uh, that's my recording program. Uh, it shouldn't be there, but it is. Jail keep column. All right. Yes, I will. First do of all, we best. have to. Oh, we have to uh, turn on yeah. trap detection because I know very well that there's a trap here. I know this thing is locked as well, and there's a dagger there. Cool. Now we need those things as well. We need uh, you. Let's see. Minx will be fighting with ah the jail key. Minx will be fighting with this. We take uh, this warhammer because I I, I want warhammers. Uh, short sword, long sword might be nice. Mm, I think that's On enough. Very well. Usually I take all of this, but I it's not like need. Let's see what the golem has to say. Prisoners, you must not escape. The master does does not will it. Whoa, a golem! Powerful magic stuff. Oh, that it's not hostile, I suppose. Its maker didn't expect us to escape, so it never got orders to restrain us. <laughs> this is an important thing. What of an idiot this mage has to be that he's so... Uh, so fond of himself and, uh, uh, and, and he knows that he can catch us even if we escape. Ah, they only do exactly what they are directed to. They don't really think. If it hasn't been told to keep quiet, we might get some information out of it. Prisoners, you might not escape. The master does not will it. Okay. Does not will it. Uh, what is this master that you speak? 
I am not permitted to speak with the prisoners. Return to your cells, it is the master's wish. Yeah, he wants me free, you know. Only I release the master's prisoners. You are his and the master returns to the cells. You are a mindless golem, man, more or less. I shall find answers from you. I don't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we need to do this. Item management. The thing we will be do we'll be doing a lot in this game, unfortunately. A helmet might be nice. War hammer goes here. This goes here. Uh, so we will have a two short yeah short short sword for you. This for you as well. Um, not sure about the rest. Let's see. This goes here. Not that I really need it for now. Imowen, you have spells, don't you? Oh, none of this is good. This is pathetic. This is good. This is good. This is good. But we don't need it. Uh, strength. Who who uses that? Uh, offensive spells. That's what you need. Most of that is that's okay for now. Um, let's free our heroes. Quickly. We must get out of here before whoever did this returns. I swear, traveling with you is never dull. Well. That's what we are here for, to have adventures, don't we? Uh, do I know you? Yeah, do you have any idea why we're here? No, I do not. Uh, sorry, I, I'm not able to do uh, that kind of accent that she's talking with. Uh, I think it's somewhere from the south of this world, doesn't matter. And I would rather we further ahead the investigation at a time that we more in our favor. We have friends to find and in time enemies to punish. I will repeat that what I believe that is our cap uh, I believe led to our capture if I must, but I doubt it shall prove to be different than what I already know. My husband Khalid and I have traveled with you for some seasons now. Now Khalid was important was important because they were she's she is his wife and she still believes she is. Uh, and what is most important is that um, uh, he was like that. He was not very good with articulating his voice. And the places we have seen number too many to name. Your unique heritage has proven a magnet to adventure, for better or worse. And your foster father was right in directing us to watch over you. We remain in your company as friends more than guardians, and our exploits together have left the land for the better. We have earned many enemies, but we have dispatched them all. Whoever has trapped us now is certainly a powerful to have done this so easily. Once we know, we will deal with them in due course, but for the time being, it's more important we retrieve our friends and companions and leave this place. Do you know where Khalid is now? He is not with you. Yeah. I do not know where he is, and I wor and it worries me. No doubt he was taken, as we were. So it seems we were all meant for different fates. From the state of my head, I think I have been drugged, through, though I have been spared any serious physical mistreatment. You, however, look as though you have been treated more unfavorably, and I should not like to think of Khalid receiving the same. You still love him, don't you? Uh, okay. Yeah, then I will unlock your cage quickly. I think I found the key. Yes, that's one thing. And second, if I mispronounce something, if I misread something, because this game is full of dialogues that you have to read because they are not voiced. Uh, sorry for that. It's just... Uh, uh, English is not my ma native tongue, so remember that, I please. Yeah, I found the key. You've got the key! Uh, open the door already. Must I hand walk the... Th you through this, don't you worry. What the relief and about time to go. We should be going immediately. Not only might our host come back, I simply must see the sun again. Ah, you are welcome to long so long as remember remember I'm the leader. We do as and uh, we do as I will. Yeah, that's much more or less uh, a very neutral evil type of attitude. This place is so uh, harden your manner. I do not remember you being so quick with a cold remark. Uh, lead on as you wish, but do treat ca uh, threat carefully. Well, yeah. Yep. Yes, as you will. Okay. First of all, 
let's do this. Imowen, you I need to change your uh yeah, that's more like it. And Jakira, you look I would love you to be more brown. Uh, something like this. What is my task? It shall yes. be. Yes. Now let's get uh, Minx ah, out. Minsk will be free. These bonds will not hold my wrath. But will be liberally kicked in good measure. <laughs> this is a good one. Uh, the thing is, I don't want him in my party in the end, but I will take him from here because I'm not such a selfless bastard. No, wait, I am a selfless bastard in this game. But he is a powerful uh, guy, uh, you know, strength, all that. He's a ranger. He's a little bit of a not well in the head, but we can deal with it. <laughs> Can you control your anger long enough to safely leave this place? My anger is under complete control, complete. I will control it as I rip limbs from li limb from limb. I will control it and I proud head after head and I will control. No, no control, no mercy. I will avenge, avenge Dina Hare. Dina Hare is uh, for a member of our party. Uh, we lack from on the screen you see Jahira and uh, Minsk. Uh, they were also there, and there was Odina uh, Hare, Rashemi on or Rashman, uh, which and he was her berserker. It was his uh, task to pr protect her, but more or less uh, he failed. Uh, and that was the sixth party, uh, sixth people party that you uh, that were that canonically speaking was taken hostage by this mage. <laughs> I will leave you here if you do not compose yourself at once. Reconsider, I will rage as never before, and these and those in my path will fall left, right, and round the back. Dina here is she's she is dead, and I will not rest. They they killed her as I watched. You see, I know not who they were, but but I will redeem myself. Minx, that is horrible, and so is and am I. So Sorry, and am so I am so oh, fuck. I am so sorry for you. That's such a that was not a difficult uh, line, was it? I won't cry for the dead. I won't. Okay, maybe a little bit. I will staunch the flow of tears with righteous fury. Lullaby and good night, evil Winks will make you pay. Will you help me? We must join together once more, and our fury will be such that bards will. Run the queer dry. Yes, ink will be scarce when we're go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, Minx. No, you're. Yeah, you're being here, showing you are weak. I will leave you where you are. You, you turn your back on those in need. You are abandoning me in my hour of shame. You, you are no better than those that killed the hair. You are filth that I called friend. You do not make me add your ass to the kicking list. I would do so reluctantly, but I will do it. Choose your path. Now the thing is, uh, well, either way, he will get out of his cell himself. You should, yeah. You know, I should try to release you, but I don't know how your cage opens. You lie! You freed yourself and now you will not free me, such villainy! Boo, see what you are doing! Roar! Or something like that. I will smack your evil lips to the earth and stomp them on the boot. I will... I will make sure you do not live long enough to abandon your f more friends. I will... I will... I will do all this as soon as I get those bars open. The bars! They bend and twist with my berserker strength! Minsk and Boo are free! <laughs> no, you will not! No. We fight? No, we don't. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you are a smart one! Well, I am I certainly smarter than you. No! You said what you did just to get me mad! Mad enough to break free! <laughs> <laughs> you are as smart as Boo sometimes! Now, am I? Now we can resume our adventure together. There are friends to avenge and village villains to smack about the face and neck. Right, Boo? Yeah, I think perhaps we should split up. No, you see, he is a 
he is a berserker. He is good. Uh, he should be other class, by the way, but they made him a ranger, so uh, it, it can go. Uh, it, 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 it's good. Uh, yeah, join me, or together we shall make our enemies answer for our fallen. Yeah. Answer they will, and my sword shall be the question. We shall have fistful of sweet, sweet juice, and our enemies will be shamed. What? Yes, but, but alright, Boo tells me what I'm rav raving again. I did not notice a difference, but I shall heed his words nonetheless. He has a little chipmunk. <laughs> no, uh, a little... Uh, oh, what's the name of that animal? Uh, but that, that little animal, <laughs> the, the animal is his partner. A hamster, yes, that's the name. You're talking to a hamster. Yeah. Uh, beware villains, I will force judgment down your evil, evil throats. And I see you still have that rodent. Dare I ask how you have kept it hidden from our captors? Don't ask questions, better left to ages, age sages. Boo is quick and evasive and there is even so much of Minsk's uh, to search. There is more holes getting up. Okay, I really don't want to think about that uh, too much. I agree with him when as always. Minx and Boo and Minx and Boo and we shall not be separated. Shall we go? The butts of evil await my boot print. Yeah. Okay. I have lost myself in your words, but the things you're just onwards. Yeah. On my honor. Consider it done. Now, uh, let's equip our friends a little bit. Minx go. Minx. Minx goes. Uh, to the first line, as you can see, uh, the the way the characters are placed here uh, on this uh, little grid, uh, well, it's not a grid, uh, on this little uh, bar here, uh, tells us how they uh, are placed in the formation. Uh, first of all, we have, uh, I will go a little bit of a rundown. Uh, you can turn off. Uh, this place is just too darn creepy. The user interface. I really want out of here. Uh, you can also align it a little bit like this, you can move those down, move those up. Uh, here we have a map, there's also a map of the city and the whole place. Uh, basically there's the journal which is a good one, can help us. There are, there are quests, there are quests that were done, there's journal in general. Uh, we can also sort the entries by dates. And we can also make our own notes. Uh, then there is the inventory screen, the record, the character screen, uh, which is quite important. Uh, since we're already here, we have Minsk, he's a ranger. You see his, well, his intelligence wisdom isn't that high, which from the dialogue you can quite easily tell. Then there's Jahira, she's very good in, in, in the sense, seventeens uh, are quite good, and Imowen. Uh, most important things are here. This is the armor class. The lower it gets, the better. Uh, if you have minus, it's even it's it's much better. Uh, your character mail some information about who you killed, when, how how much time the character spent in the in the in the group. There are also biographies that you can learn more about the characters. Uh, then there we we have the uh, this one. Uh, this is of course the Mm, spell book, mage book, and there is also uh, this one, uh, priest scrolls. Uh, these are important, we'll have to change those because these characters... The initial... Uh, the initial... Uh, initially chosen um, spells aren't that good, and I would love for them to be a little bit different. Split mail goes to Minsk, and there's of course the menu bar with graphics, settings, things like that. Now let's go with this. Uh, leather, this goes here, this goes uh, here. We might need that a little bit. That's a small shield. That's a buckler that goes for Imowen. Two handed swords goes, goes here. Katana. This is the best swords, it's your Japanese sword. Uh, in this game comes from a country or a whole continent, I don't remember now, called Karatur. Uh, Minsk, Minsk, you go with this. Uh, Jahira, I need a weapon for you. 
What was her proficiencies? I don't remember. Scimitar and a club. Quarter stuff. I have a quarter stuff for you. No, there is one there. Okay. Uh, for you, we go with swords. This might be helpful. Now she looks a little more like a thief because she's a thief mage. What do you require? You yes. uh, one more thing. Quarter stuff for Jahira. This is a two-handed weapon, so she has to get rid of the. Oh, sorry. Let's get rid of this. This goes here. What is my task? I await your word. And then the second we go uh, further into this big dungeon. For the beginning, this is of course my new project. Welcome, every welcome back, everyone. Finally, I found a game that I can play on my computer without going black screen. I think uh, my name is Gabriel. It was an honor uh, to play this game for you, and, and it will be an honor because we are at the beginning. Uh, and I hope to see you soon in the next installment of Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2: Shadows of Han. Come on, I'm doing an LP of a, of the most of the best RPG, one of the best RPGs ever. Thank you for your time, Mr. Wilson.